In this video, we're going to look at a slightly easier example than the previous video. Um, really just so you can get your head around the process of being able to find the equation of a circle given three points on its outer rim. Okay? So, in order to do this, we're going to find the perpendicular bisectors of pairs of these points. These three points I've labelled A, B and C. Now we'll find that we only need to do that twice, so we only need to pick two pairs. And I'm going to pick AC and AB as my two pairs. So I'm going to start off with AC. So first of all, the first thing you need to do is to find the midpoint of A and C. So what we would do is we would find the average of minus 3 and minus 3, the x-coordinates. So minus 3 plus minus 3 divided by 2. And we would do the same for the y-coordinates. So we'd have 5 plus minus 1 divided by 2. And we get minus 3, because minus 6 divided by 2 is just minus 3. And because these are uh, points right above each other, minus 3 would have to be the x-coordinate. 5 take away 1 is 4, divided by 2 is 2. So minus 3, 2 is the midpoint of A and C. Okay, so what we want to do is find the negative reciprocal of that line in order to find the perpendicular bisector. So that point is minus 3, 2. So, because this is a vertical line, the equation of the perpendicular bisector must just be y is equal to 2. So, equation of perpendicular bisector is y equals 2. The horizontal line going through these two points. We come up, there we are. Okay, so that's the line y is equal to 2. We now want to find the perpendicular bisector of A and B. Okay, so the first thing we've got to do is find the midpoint of A and B. So, midpoint, we want to find the average of the x coordinates, so minus 3 plus 4 divided by 2, and the average of the y coordinates, so 5 plus 6 over 2. So that's going to give us 1 half and 11 halves. So that is the coordinates of the midpoint of A and B. So let's draw that on. Okay. So about there. So 1 half, 11 halves. Now, in order to find the equation of the perpendicular bisector, we need to find the gradient of A and B. Okay. So that's the difference in the y-coordinates, so 6 take away 5, divided by the difference in the x-coordinates, so 4 take away minus 3. So we're going to get 1 in the numerator and 7 in the denominator. So the gradient of AB is 1 7. That means that the gradient of the perpendicular bisector will be minus 7, as it will be the negative reciprocal of 1 7. So the gradient of the perpendicular bisector will be equal to minus 7 over 1, so minus 7. So the equation of the perpendicular bisector will be y is equal to minus 7x plus c. And in order to work out C, I'm going to have to substitute in the midpoint, the 1 half 11 halves. So sub in 1 half 11 halves. So we're going to get 11 halves is equal to minus 7 times 1 half plus C. So 11 halves is equal to minus 7 halves plus C. So if I add 7 halves to both sides, I get 18 halves is equal to c, which is 9. So the equation of the perpendicular bisector is y is equal to minus 7x plus 9. Okay? 
So that is the equation that I'm looking for. And that gives me the equation of this line, which nicely will go through the centre of the circle. So in actual fact, if you find the uh, perpendicular bisector of any two points that are on the outside of a circle, that line will always go through the centre of that circle. So I have these two equations now. And if they are both to be true, then I can look at the intersection. And they intersect at that centre point. So if I'm looking for an intersection, I'm going to use simultaneous equations. I'm going to put one equation equal to the other. That will find me the x-coordinate of the centre. So if I add 7x to both sides and take 2 from both sides, I get 7x is 7, so x must be equal to 1. So, if x is 1, the y-coordinate is 2, and so the centre of the circle is at 1, 2. So now I know that the equation of the circle is x minus 1 squared plus y minus 2 squared is equal to r squared. The only thing I now need to find is that r, the radius of the circle. Now, in order to do that, all I need to do is to find the distance from the centre of the circle to any of the three points that I have there. The easiest one to work with is probably the 4, 6, because I don't need to deal with any negatives. So, if I'm looking at the distance from 1, 2 to 4, 6, what I'm going to do is form a right angle triangle and use Pythagoras. So from 1 to 4, that would be 3, and from 2 to 6, that would be 4. So 3 squared plus 4 squared, so that's 9 plus 16 is 25. The square root of 25 is 5. So this is a 3, 4, 5 triangle. So the radius of the circle is actually 5. And so the equation is x minus 1 squared plus y minus 2 squared is equal to 5 squared, or 25. And that's the equation of the circle. So in this example, with the more straightforward numbers, you can see the equation generated much more quickly.